Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'll be taking you through the steps on how to use your iPad as a dual display for your Mac on an iPad and Mac that do not officially support Apple Sidecar. As it currently stands, these are the officially supported devices that can use Sidecar. This list is quite restrictive and leaves many more than capable devices off the list. I will be going through screen recordings on how to install YAM display on both your iPad and Mac device, as this will be the app that we will use to have the secondary display using an iPad functionality. So let's get straight into it. So to start off, we'll go to a screen recording with the iPad and then we'll head over to the Mac. Okay, so here's how you get YAM display on your iPad OS device. So first, make sure that you're connected to the internet and then go to the App Store. In search, type in YAM display. And then click search. Now you'll see a screen that's similar to this. Now you might, might see a ad that's called Duet Display. This is a paid version of what we're about to do and it might have a few extra features, but for now just ignore this and then go to Yam Display Free. There's also a paid version, but the free version gives you most of the same features. So let's go to Yam Display Free and then we'll click Get. So when you click Get, you'll be asked for some information just to confirm that you are um, definitely wanting to download this app and just to prove your identity. So I'll go through that and then I'll be back. Now the app's going to download onto your iPadOS device and then when it's completed, it'll say open. So now we'll just tap open. And now Yam Display is open. Now all that's left to do is download it on the Mac and then connect the iPad up. So I'll see you on a screen recording on the Mac to show you how to do this. Okay, so here's how to install YAM Display on your Mac OS device. So first of all, go to your web browser. In this case, I'm going to be using Safari. Then type in YAM Display. Then click Enter. Now click the top result, which should say YAM Display dash yet another display for your Mac. Let's click this. And now you'll see a screen similar to this. So we can scroll down and then click download YAM display for Mac. So we'll just click allow when this comes up and then it will download the DMG image. There's also some instructions here um, of some of the settings and how to connect, but I'm going to go through that with you today. So now that that's downloaded, we can quit out of Safari and then go down to the download section of the dock, click that, and then click yamdisplay.dmg. It will verify. And then you'll need to copy it into the applications folder. So we'll do that now. Then I'll click replace. You don't need to worry about that if you don't see that screen. And now it will ask for administrator privileges. So we'll put in the password and then click OK. And now it's copying to the applications folder. Now, once you hear that noise, that means it's successfully copied. So I'll close out of install YAM display. We can eject this image. And now we can go to applications, scroll down until we see YAM display, double click on it, and then click open. And now it's going to need to restart the Mac so that it can be updated for the current Mac OS. So I'll restart the device and then I'll come back and complete the tutorial. So now the Mac has been restarted. So we'll go back to Finder, click on Applications, and then scroll down and double click on YAM Display. So once you double click on it, we can close out the Applications folder. And you'll see that in the menu bar, there's a little icon here, and that is the YAM Display icon. So if we click on that, it means 
it says it's waiting for connection. So now we need to go and get the lightning or USB-C cable for the iPad and then we'll connect it to the computer. Okay, so now we have Yam Display installed on both the iPad and the Mac. So it's time now to open it up and get the two devices connected. So I'll click on Yam Display on the iPad. And now we can plug in the lightning or USB-C cable into the Mac and then plug in our iPad. Okay, so it'll start trying to connect and then you might have a notification that says, Yam Display would like to control this computer using accessibility features. So um, we need to open system preferences. This is going to allow some touchscreen features on the iPad to work. So then we'll just click the lock to make changes, enter the administrator password. And now we have a few options here. So we'll just go and allow Yam Display. And now we can click the lock again. Now we can close out of that. And now Yam Display is working. So as you can see, the mouse can go into both displays now. Um, there's not too much lag. So if I open something like Safari, I can drag it over to the iPad. And then I can open something like Finder and Notes on the Mac. And I can put them on the other screens. So it works quite nicely. You also notice that the touch screen does sort of work on the iPad. However, it's not perfect. So it is a little bit difficult um, sometimes to control it, but it does work for the most part and it is a good little feature to have. So yeah, that's how you have sidecar-like features on a Mac and iPad that do not officially support it. And Yam Display is a great tool to do that. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.